Okay, right. streams back up. How many how many <laughs> picks did we lose? Two picks. We lost we lost the arrests for some reason, which is garbage. And we lost another pick to time. I want I want it on the record. I would like it to be w known. I would like everyone to know this had nothing to do with my internet being bullshit. Power in my power in my house flickered. Hmm. But now we get to have <coughs> a talk idol. Oh, I'm sorry. That late late thief of poop. Hey, Vyashino S. Laughter Master. Yeah, where did that come from? Oh, uh, I assume that was one of the picks. I'm, he's a cool guy. I'm sad we're not in all okay. three of his colors. Hmm. I know, yeah, he is sweet. He is very sweet. Like, but and luckily, be, luckily we're still but, seeing cards that are, like, relevant to the deck because we correctly have been put in a deck. Yeah. Also, was was the Slaughter Blade a uh, an uncommon before? That Remember they didn't use... They did not print Double Strike at Common for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> We're doing it! We're oh, making God, it happen! Look at all this metal. What the hell? Look at all this. Look! Last us to all count. We are in the correct deck. So, are we on the on the wheel... We are probably going to have Feragamite and Darksteel Citadel. No, there's no cards left from this one. Oh, uh, is there this is, not? This yeah. is the last thing we're seeing of that? Mm -hmm. Wow, then. Okay. It just... But we're in the right deck. Hey, the Rusted Relic. Woo! Hey. There's also Rapid Flames. Also Mana Leak. Oh, nobody picked Mana Leak. Okay. All right, so I like the... I like the white-red affinity plan where we have, like... A couple red cards. Wait, get out of here, Ankin. That's in Soulstoke. That's garbage. <laughs> you don't want your gray ogre. Our, our last pick in Kandes and Soulstoke. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm. We might actually, if we're aggressive enough, we might actually play Blades. Wow. Yeah. Copy of Ancient Law. At the very Kami least, I don't want the Thief Force. of Hope deck to have it. That's a better steal than the Brute Force. The Brute Force is nice because we do have the Swift Blade, but the Brute Force is kind of lame because... <laughs> because... Yeah, I'll, I'll, let me, let me multiple colors. because of that. Like... Yeah, Shroud. Okay. Maybe Brute Force isn't that good. Yeah. We aren't Jess guy. That fairy mechanist is fake. Oh, God! Yo, Care Enforcer. Right, Thoughtcast. What? Choose correctly. Which one should we choose? Okay, are we at... We have no blue fixing! Don't care. Mirror is Forcer. it? Which is the choice? I like Mirror Enforcer. Mirror Enforcer? I'm going Mirror Enforcer, too. Hell, I pick Frogmite over Thoughtcast. Okay. Mirror Enforcer's a 4 mana 4-4. Four, four. Let's pick him. We also have next, like, oh, God, that's... Eldrazi Temple, Sky... Okay, Sky Hunter Skirmisher. <laughs> we could have played Ulamog Scratcher! Ah! All right, all right. God! Yeah, our artifact mana... Well, we are in the correct color, in the correct deck. That's great, you know? Mm. That's sweet. I'm super hey, happy. Bleeds Villa's Villa out of your deck. I just noticed that. <laughs> I was saying if we were aggressive enough, we might actually play it, but probably not. Uh, I'm going to steal the commune. I don't care of those. Core Duelist or Surgical Extraction? Wow. Uh. The value extraction. Yeah. Hey, Tarashi's grass. Mm, if we if were playing the blades of Ellisvale, we would want to play the skirmisher. <laughs> yeah, I think the skirmisher is a fine card. It's just uncastable. What? We cannot Iona. cast that. Actually, how much money is is a uh, is Iona? I, guess. I have no idea. Well, Iona is not that much. So, um, I guess that makes it down to the actual picks here: Dispatch or Glenhawk Idol. Glenn Hawk will wheel, I think. Make, we can like make dispatch. dispatch work. Actually, hold like on. I'm, I'm looking up Iona. Look at all our machines. Oh, also uh, they... Iona is two tickets. <clears throat> I think Dispatch is the stronger card. They put Iona in with no reanimator stuff. Yep. Yep. Such garbage. It's not like they could even stop us from casting our spells. We had too much artifact. Mm-hmm. So we do want more, like, I guess we want a, like, we have a pretty decent artifact count, but we want it to be even higher because we have very powerful 
abilities that yeah, getting an incidental dark steel citadel would be pretty crucial. Yeah, that's that's what I was what was about to say is I would really like a dark steel citadel. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so, uh Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay, just to have a noblesse of war on top of that? Dun 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 dun! Isn't that kind just of crappy? Like, wouldn't you rather have Glenhawk Idol than that? Uh, it's a. The questions oh, here are two. The, the questions here are twofold. One, the qua the quint, colored mana requirement, which could be difficult. I think it's worth picking. Because even, like, over the Glinthawk Idol, because we're in the colors for it, and it does work well with our, like, aggressive pile of cards as a piece of top end. Um, I also think both of these Glinthawk Idols are going to wheel. Like the one in this pack and All the right. previous pack. That's more fair. If, <laughs> if you believe that, then pick the Noblesse. Yeah. I guess, or would you rather pick Noblesse over Rusted Relic 2 or Flare Husk is the question I'm asking. I, I would, yes. Yes. <laughs> then, then that's your, that's your answer. So, so the I, thing with, the other thing with Noblesse is that it, it in itself is a 5-4 flyer for 5. Mm -hmm. Which is, uh... There's a word for that. I don't know what it I is. I guess he though. does something right away. That's kind of cool. We also yep. could, mm -hmm. yeah, we could pick up Alloy Mirror too, and then we'd be able to, or we could just pick the Burst Lightning. Yeah, we first Burst Lightning, Lurry. Alloy Mirror won't, won't wheel, Dark Steel Citadel might, but the pillar would we be yeah. okay with Rune Distributor? Are you Guys, like... there's a there's a pillory in the pack. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't immediately recognize it because look at that stupid art on that pillory. I hate it's, it. It's pretty bad art. Especially since the previous art was great. Yeah, I well, love that And, like, art. very... Uh, what do you call it? Very mm -hmm. iconic. You yeah. just, like, recognize it in an, in an instant. There's a or pillory. Guy, uh, Jens, you recognized the guy on this art from other card, mm -hmm. didn't you? Yeah, the, the same art guy is on thousand lashes or one thousand lashes it's the same guy like he's having the worst day of his life wow i'm picking the burst lightning for a bit more, more removal a bit more reach uh what shock I'll, I'll play shock i think i'm gonna continue to pick the burst lightnings yeah shock i'd play shock well this is better than shock yeah i know like <laughs> i'd I, play shock is what i'm saying yeah yeah that guy is really having a rough time. <laughs> <laughs> did, did, you, did you pull up the art on? I, I pulled up the art. He's just having the worst day. <laughs> also, Sun Spear Shikari would not be actually that good. We not only, actually be that good. But. The card's strong, but we need equipment to go with it, and like Flare Husk for one is more than likely. If it makes the deck, it's 23 in the first place. Yeah. The, but the, it's like that bear. The triple burst lightning gives me a bit more commitment to the red, and I, I like that, because I do like the red. It'll, it'll help you play Boros, Boros Swift Bleed. Mm. Yeah, I think nothing does beat our Algae Garial, that is correct. Except, like, Typhoid Rats, who isn't here. This can beat Algae Garial. <laughs> so. If we are splashing blue for Fairy Beckonist, there's Electrolyze. And then there's, like... Gut shot and school slicer. Fiery fall. I kind of like and wax mane Baku. <laughs> well, okay, look. First things first. Wax mane Baku has this. Is the only spirit. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Kami of Ancient Law. Um, fiery fall. I don't. I don't think I'm actually playing the fairy mechanist. Let's be real. I, the fiery fall is fixing and removal. Yeah. It's, it's decent. Yeah. It's just sort of poor at both. Right. It'd be, uh, maybe a reason to play 16 land. I um, hope. I'm kind of angling for that in this. Hey. The most expensive card we have is five, uh -huh. and like everything else is cheaper. And well, especially if we're gonna way. keep getting things like this. Yeah. I mean that it, playing playing 16 land is also contingent on like having enough good cards that you want to squeeze them in. Well, we'll see. Yeah. We have, we have, we're getting there. We're getting there. We still need a couple. I like, guess I'm saying I would was... play land over Flare Husk if it comes to that. <laughs> I guess Gust... another thing about uh, 
hmm? get shot there is we have shock times three, so we don't actually need. <laughs> True. <laughs> we, have, we have shock times three. We don't need, like, colorless shock. You know, like, you know, not shock. Um, look at the blue here. That's pretty funny. I, I'm cool with rusted relics. Sweet. Uh, freaking vapor snag. Hey, the second rusted relic is better than the first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, like... Show everybody f what vapor snag is and let them realize that mm -hmm. uh, Phyrexian times were weird times for colors. Vapor snag... Uh owns this card isn't like sh <laughs> it isn't strictly better than unsummon but it's pretty damn close the only time the reason i say not because sometimes you have to target your own guy with the unsummon and then you lose the life but uh yeah it's so dumb boris mm -hmm. with blade times two thought cast boris swift blade two has to be the the largest so I thought cast is kind of greedy. You get one piece of fixing, and already you're thinking, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I, can, I can play that island. Yeah, I could do that. The fiery fall. We passed up Electrolyze, oh, but so help me, I will do it for thought cast. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Okay, you... I'm going to take that. It's completely fair. I did pass up the Electrolyze, <laughs> which is like so, which is just as good. Yeah. It does much the same thing. Hey. Well, the first. Wait, no, you should have. You should have picked the thought cast because there's the chancery for it. <laughs> That's also a narcolepsy. Anyways, yeah, go ahead. I am okay. I, I, I called this. So I'm gonna call Glint Hawk Idol, Flare Husk, and Rusted Relic in the next pack. I will pick any number of Glint Hawk Idols. For this deck. <laughs> well, number might be four. I accept. It's kind of disgusting. <laughs> we have mana to activate yep. them all? You, no, they, oh no, I was wrong! Rusted Relic and Flare Husk are gone! They activate when you play another artifact. Yeah, true enough. Which is every turn, right? It looks like it. Um, we want to pretty quickly get to our two artifact turn. Yes. Yo, this deck owns... Yeah, this Crap. deck is pretty damn sweet. <laughs> yeah, Sun, Lance, me... burst lightning, burst lightning, burst lightning. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah! Oh. Yes! Wow. The incidental makes... text deal no. citadel. I'm so happy it's here. Um, It will get us owned at some point, but... We already have the Blink Moth Nexus to own us at some yeah. point. We're, we're all, if, <laughs> if we're already owned at some point, we might as well get double owned at some point. Also, this turns on the... I'm going to pick the Flare Husk. Um, the Foil Flare Husk. Yes. Does it make Maybe a Foil <laughs> Token? Ooh, d I think it does make a Foil Germ Token. <laughs> yes. Oh no! We could have had two Eldrazi Temples and an Ulamox Crusher. Our curve ends at, like, three. Well, <laughs> that would make our curve end at four! I <laughs> would... Ulamox Crusher cost four. No, it costs, it costs five. Five, okay, but, five. Like... like they're like six, actually. It's two lands, and then uh, I don't care what I get out of this. So I'm gonna let fate. Mm, mm. Let the Babylonian lottery decide. I picked my pick, which is Gutshot. Okay, good. Hey, Glass Dust Hulk is the last pick. We can't play it. But... <laughs> we, we can cycle it for one. <laughs> That's just funny that it's hey. here. It tells us how open affinity is that all that blue is still hanging around. So we went on the backs of four Glint Hawk idols. <laughs> yeah, I really think we just sort of uh, play a creature a turn and and keep attacking. We have and we have this removal suite of five one mana removal spells and then O ring arrest. <laughs> All right, so we need to make. We have thirty one cards. Uh, we need to cut down to twenty. Four because this definitely can be a. Oh, you glass dust. <coughs> also, um, the yeah, he gets to eat glass. Probably and both flare husks gone. Just uh, skimmer. Oh yeah, skimmer can make it out of here. That's he's, he's, we have no way to jump. Her. We have no way to jump. 
I so it says this, we have raise the alarm. <laughs> like it's it's kind of bad, but like the fact that we have noblest makes it a bit better. Ah, uh, that's true. I guess, guess it's between raise the alarm and Kami. So we, it says I'm... we have twelve creatures, but we actually have sixteen, seventeen, yeah. eighteen. The creature counts fake as hell. It, it's nineteen or actually. 19. Yeah. yeah, nineteen because of raise the alarm. Like, don't even bother with the creature count. It's gonna be. So we're at 27 now. Um, I, how am I cutting these artifacts? Because I have no respect for Flare Husk. <laughs> we, have, we have one guy who... Well, okay, two copies of one guy who, who works well with equipment. Well, like, and he, Flare Husk is kind of a crappy equipment anyway. Like, it operates as, like, a, a artifact count. I guess, what is artifact count right now? Um, we have one, two, uh, I three, counted, six. uh, 12. I don't uh, think, I, I don't think, before. I don't think I want to count, cut any more than, like... Yeah, so, if, uh, with our two colorless lions, can we afford swift, a, we can cut, like, a swift blade and, like, raise the alarm, maybe. Hmm. Fire, fiery fall, just be, for being... Yeah, fire, Fiery Fall is there to kind of fill in the gaps or we're kind of kind of tight. So we need four more preferably expensive cuts. I think we need two more. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, good. That's a lot better. <laughs> oh, man. Blood Ogre. Is it? Blood ogre. blood ogre. I would rather keep Blood Ogre around than Boros Swift Blade. I would too. But I really think we're down to that because we're not cutting artifacts. Noblis and Indomitable Ar Archangel are shoe ins. I guess Kami is on the chopping block. Yeah, like Kami and. The Swift Blades are going to be a little awkward to cast if we have either of our colorless lands in our opener. Which we kind of do for our Metal Craft dudes. And then raise the alarm is just sort of a crappy spell. Well, not crappy, but... Hmm. I think it's kind of crappy. Compared to the rest of the deck. I know I pushed us to pick it pretty highly, <laughs> but now... Well, no, that are. was a kind of empty... That was a kind of empty pack. Like, did... And we're half-assing the artifacts team with our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah, 11, 12, really 13, a... 14 artifacts... Half not our really deck. an artifact set deck so much as a Glint Hawk Idol deck. We've got our our Korean Glint Hawk Idol group. <laughs> They're all right here. Mm. Okay, not fourteen. We have, we have thirteen artifacts if you don't count Blink Moth Nexus activated. So here's the other th only thing. Like, so if we wanted to, if if we did put the husks in to up the artifact count to make Rusted Relic, Etch Champion, Quirk Homunculus, Glint Hawk Idols a bit more consistent. The problem is, like, the cards I want them with, I would want to still... Like, Flare Husk does seem fine if I still have the Swift Blades in. Yeah, but you would have to cut a Swift Blade to put a Flare Husk in. Unless I cut the Blood Ogre. Unless you in, cut a Blood Ogre. To put in one Flare Husk. To put in a Flare Husk. Yeah, like, mm. like I, I realize how that sounds. And that's the reason I haven't done it yet, but I'd like to at least make that a, a option that is on the table. Um, the idea that... Because we have 13, like... I guess it, I guess the problem is, how, how much difficulty do you think we're going to have uh, I actually, metal? Well, actually, the thing I'm thinking more of is, and a couple people have been saying it in the chat, like, the Blood Ogre, because we have Glinthawk Idols... It's going to be difficult for us to get this Blood Ogre as a 3-3. Three, three. That's well, true enough. Because, like, we need to play an artifact to turn on the Glenhawk Idol or spend a mana to turn on the Glenhawk Idol. So the Blood Ogre just, like, we would have to be counting on either Boros, Slift Blade, or Court Homunculus, and that's it. So it makes the Bloodthirsting that of a 3-3 three, three extremely difficult. Or difficult on curve, like not that difficult on four. Yeah, but on four, look at our other spells. Like, yeah. So, what do you think, Kaz? 
Well, Should four we can also be. For... Crucially, four is your like two two mana things. Yeah. Cutting blood ogre for flare husk. I don't live in this world. <laughs> uh... Okay, go ahead and do it. We're gonna make that sideboard back every single game, but we'll do it. Let's do it. Like, the more I think about it, the more I want to live the dream where Boris Swift Blade gets like Noblesse of War plus Flare Husk on it and just goes to goddamn town. <laughs> yeah, I'll kill our opponent in one hit with that. Sure. Just like, hey, what's going on? Huh. So for raise the alarm, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> We're cutting blood ogre for a worse card was, than yeah. Raise the alarm, but yeah, don't, don't worry. So the only we card... play the foil flare husk. We want to see if it's got the the foil germ token. <laughs> You're yeah, right. right. That's, that's science. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, like everybody's response, what not play the foil one. So, okay, so uh, lands. Lands is going to be because uh, the only other thing in here I find questionable is the noblest, but I will not cut it. I refuse. So, like that's that's just outright. All right, pile glint hawk idle in with the white cards. <laughs> ooh, what if we? Yeah, what if? Ooh, that's a good one. Sideboard the flare husk for non foil flare husk, like every game, flip it. Ooh. Every God. game we play That'll... every game we play it, flip it. Because then we can we can mind game them. They'll think we have two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I like you guys. I I trust your ability to bluff opponents. <laughs> I don't think that you're gonna do it with a flare husk. <laughs> That's like asking someone to like win a fencing match with a dinner spoon like here <laughs> let me bluff you with my flare husk okay it's saying eight six i think nine like higher white is better like nine five yeah all of our red commitment is very light whereas we have double white on a card well also like not only that but like the red the red is basically two cards Yeah, I'm. I'm. Yeah, maybe we are underrating a one mana one one that becomes a bad uh, leading in scimitar, but maybe. Yeah, lying is its owner war. TK Cat, <laughs> I'm glad we keep you around. <laughs> All right, let's rock. Let's just do this. I'm feeling it. Um, I'm sorry. Oh no. Uh, has revalidated your card pool and changes may have occurred. Um, Do we have another crap. arrest? What, what what changes? Tell me what the changes. No. Um. No, 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 no. Do we okay. have a? <laughs> <laughs> Why was that? The, 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 the MTGO didn't like your deck. Try again. <laughs> I was just desperately checking to see if Fireshino Slaughter Blade had been transformed into an arrest. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna backdate the entire draft. Oh my god. <laughs> For everyone's fix. So everyone ends up with things that they don't know or they they had no choice at. Um Hello! Awkward. It's red cards and no red source. Are we on the uh, play? We, we Scott Vargas. And. Uh huh. Um, Cathodian on three is what you're getting with this hand. I'm I reading. like it. Three lands, Unless... two cards we can play. Unless there's mountain on top, this hand looks like a champion. That's a one in six or one in seven. Yeah. Now we had a surgical extraction before. Yeah, we had it. We had it. It was almost the last pick. It was like that versus something else I didn't care about, so I picked the surgical extraction. There are sixes that looked a ton worse than this hand, but this hand is making me 
I don't like it, but it's keepable. Well, like, our deck is made to be like, yo, let's get off the ground running, and we just miss our ones and twos. Yeah. Flare Hus is going to be on the top. We have similar chances of drawing a mountain or a Glinthawk idol. <laughs> <laughs> so. Ah, all right, all our removal. Cool. Wow. Okay. Like, gruel. Okay. Cathodian, go. Yeah, we're fighting the duck. Boggle McGee. Oh, no, Boggle. He's gonna, he's gonna slam down some. Bold we got all the goblin, goblin remains. Oh what? I'm sorry. Smash to Smithereen's main deck main. against the deck that's actually good against him. Oh, I no. I said I said bolt. I thought he was going for the bolt. He did the double bolt. Hey, what's he up? Just a land drop. <laughs> the swift blade's better there because there's no possible way I can attack with the rusted relic next turn. Smash to Smithereens. Okay. That is. That's super unfortunate for us. Let's uh, crush our opponent. Just... It's the... Yeah. Our opponent missed a couple land drops in a row now. Got two, I believe. Hi, I'm a bear. <laughs> Maybe he made the smash because he uh, saw all those wonderful artifacts going around. So Blades is what he discarded. Mm-hmm. Uh. He is very gruel if he's gruel at all, or he is hard up for playables if he's. Um, these are both cards. Come on, come on, two toughness thing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we want shock. <laughs> I guess we play the rusted relic. Yeah, and shock. So he can use his. He can use his other smash to smithereens. I don't miss Shroud, it was awful. I kind of miss Shroud. Shroud is a much more balanced... It is. It was, it was more of a trade-off, you know? I miss Shroud specifically for that. Okay, Boros Garrison. Which I guess the... still sounds like a person's name to me. Boros Garrison? Well, it, 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 it sounds that... like a television news anchor. Mm. Sure, yeah. Boros Ga Garrison. News at Look at the Boros Garrison and let me read the artist on it. Because there is a Bo uh, an artist in Magic named Boros. It, Bor it, uh, he did the he did Rakdos Carnarium. Mm -hmm. Zoltan yeah. Boros and Gabor Zhikshai. Yeah, they always work together. Like one of them does the backgrounds or something. I hope he plays something huge and cool so that we get to see it before we arrest him. Yep. So here's five. Would you say that Zoltan Boros is cool? Okay, so yeah. he's Naya. What's Zoltan cool? It's a joke I was making because I'm oh. hard up for jokes against her. <laughs> Let's do it nothing. All right, yeah, our opponent hasn't played very much. Yeah. I mean, the question our is... Flame Igniter. Ugh. The question is what our opponent's going to have here if it's any... Okay, Ruined Servitor. Man, I'm kind of sad that we didn't get any of those. And Frogmite. I'm sorry. <laughs> our opponent is hard up for playables. This is weird. Anyway, we arrest one and we win the game, so... We're, we're going to... Uh, <laughs> we can kill both of them. <laughs> that would involve showing the O-ring off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That will tell him to put in his enchantment. This already tells him to put in his enchantment removal. Well, this doesn't tell him we have answers to non-creatures. Hmm. So yeah, our opponent is very hard up for removal. Our cards in general. That he's playing Frogmite and Blades of Valus Veil. Vale. Oh, All right. but his, his cards just leave. Yeah, he's got. He just. I, I love it when that happens because it's like the equivalent of like the opponent in real life, like picking everything up and just walking the hell off. <laughs> like they pick up the playmat and just like start moving. Your opponent's head explodes. 
anyway, uh, we're, we we won game one with two Boro Swift Blades. Well, Bear is a good card. I think we should. I think we should. We ship it back. Uh, can I? All right. Uh, Modern Masters two. There is Karn. Karn is. Since he has so much artifact removal, we could put in Blood Ogre instead of Flare Husk. <laughs> The trick to the trick to the artifact removal is just to draw an indomitable archangel when we have three artifacts. Yeah. Yeah. What if he smashes the smithereens or dark steel citadel and then we laugh? And then we die. We die like, from the three damage. <laughs> we get yeah, we die from the three damage. Okay. I, I think we ship it back, and then if we lose this game while playing flare husk, we swap our flare husk. Heh. Heh heh heh. All right, Tezzeret is in here for some reason. Yeah, like yeah. If we start cutting the artifact count, like the the worse that gets, the worse rusted relic gets, as we kind of saw there. That that's the mm -hmm. obvious like rusted relic does nothing game, which is kind of how rusted relic plays out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, we drew. We also drew every that hand was every single one of our non creatures in the in the deck, basically. <laughs> <laughs> or not artifacts basically indomitable angel Bur burrow swift blade burrow swift blade and that was it Approval. yeah yeah shame we couldn't have like pyrite spell bomb or something is that in the set that would be really yeah. good i think the black no, spell bomb conjures bobble in and no other uh... <sighs> Hey! I see a flare husk on the on the not on the play, but whatever. Well, this is a good hand. Yeah. Flint Hawk Idol into Cathodian. Mm -hmm. Or having or Sunlance maybe. available. Or Glint Hawk Idol into activating Glint Hawk Idol. See, look how much better this would have been with that flare husk being a blood ogre. I'm going to insist. Well, again, <laughs> again, it, it doesn't curve. Yeah, how how would we I don't play? Don't care the if it grows red <laughs> Oh my god, rune servitors here. Okay. Uh, do we just blast that to draw a card or play our <laughs> Lenhawk Idol and okay. I don't Do we just bust it? I would rather have the the Glenhawk Idol down. Hmm. You know, be willing to take two damage or something. Yeah. Because then we can still, like, Sunlance. We, plus if we draw a planes, we can Sunlance and activate it. Or, like, Burst Lightning, activate. Mm-hmm. Like, there, there, there are other plays. I mean, the big thing is that, like, once we get going with this, like, the Glinthawk Idol is a clock. Yeah. Yeah, we could just ignore the two two and play Cathodian and attack on it. Right. What if he plays Frogmite here? Because I didn't shock it. Then he'll so, have another two two. He'll have a a gray ogre. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't beef with me over our opponent having a gray <laughs> ogre. <laughs> <I swear. laughs> okay, what if our opponent plays a different gray ogre? What if oh. well, got... our opponent played a land? I'm surprised. Look, I've got nothing else. It's gonna be fine. He's gonna oh, he's gonna slam his own blood ogre, and then he'll be he'll show us who has the gray ogres around here. Not him. Yeah, I know. I don't care. But <laughs> <laughs> uh. like, I don't care in the slightest if blood ogre is his follow up here. That'd be pretty cool for us, actually. Yeah. Uh, nothing's a nothing? Good, nothing's a good follow up to. Hey, Cathodian. We just okay. That's our play. <coughs> Jeez. All right. So should the first Cathodian fall, the second Cathodian <laughs> will take its place. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, come on, shatter this right now. So wait, 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 wait. It's two Cathodians, but only one gun. <laughs> then the guy with the gun dies. Then. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. fine. Get to crush in for three here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Send it the germ. 
Let's flay some husks. Let's husk some flayers. Let's. Oh no! Smash. Are we getting smashed? We are getting smashed. Yeah. He smashed the flyer, though. Interesting. No, he, he splashed the, the yeah the 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 Glinthawk idol. No. Oh. I because. I think that's correct. Mm -hmm. It's probably. I mean, he probably imagines he can outclass Cathodian on the ground or something. Which is probably reasonable, assuming he's green and red. Like, he could play I something we... like Cytopla or Cytoplast 4-4. Four -four. Bloodhorn Ogres, Horn Minotaurs, whatever they are. Uh, what? You know, maybe I'm our just on the wrong deck. Our opponent has the thirst for real cards, and it just so happens he's fighting the correct opponent. <laughs> Good lord, I'm just gonna get, like, repeatedly thrown in the, the presser here. And more rune servitors, okay. Ha! Try and answer this! Surely he can't have three of them! Oh, Frog, now Frog might appear. I guess our opponent picked the deck that he did not want to lose to, mm. rather than the deck that he wanted to draft. He has... Blades of Vellus Veil. Vale. Blades of Vellus Veil vale or Brute Strengths. I don't care. I simply do not care. No, we are kind of taking some lumps well, here. He might just have Lightning Bolt, and the plan being to get any damage in. Hmm. <laughs> he just picked up. He picked LK brute force. Oh, he's going for like lightning bolt to our face. Yeah, that might as well be bolt to the face. Yeah, because he's not using it to save his guy. Does he just? He's using the second one to save his guy. Mm. Yeah. Th here's <laughs> here's the the other trick. Finds a vast wood. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um. You did he did that in the opposite order. Okay. Yeah. Because he could have he could have punched us for four and then doing that in the opposite order would get another I feel like we should kill his creatures. I agree. It we need them gone. Hey, and you four might draw a five. card. I mean you will draw a card, but I mean we'll you might draw cards. land and then be able to make two plays or extra plays. He can't have 21 <laughs> smashes. Well, mm. little do you know. Okay, cool. Alright, and I'm just gonna... I am killing the other. Now, do I attack with the Flare Husk? Uh, what scary there aren't hasty many haste, creatures? There, there aren't many haste creatures. It's like Thing plus Goblin War Paint. I don't, I don't, I don't believe in that. When he's got, oh yeah, he's got cards in hand now. Because See, the guy who plays stuff. Smash to Smithereens might also be the man who plays Goblin mm -hmm. War Paint and like Tukatung Thalid or whatever. Simic Initiate. There you go. There's his Goblin War Paint in for, in for three. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Relic turns online. Ah, oh, we even get Court Homunculus to back it up. So I'm gonna play Court Homunculus first. Would you like to, to you know? You can graft like onto it graft? if you want. We Did wouldn't you know oppose. Graft is jank. Graft is really jank. There's the one card that's made to graft on. Right, right. Uh, Cytoplast manipulator. Mm -hmm. It's like ah, I get to steal that after I graft onto it. My favorite is the really big thing with Defender that can't block. That's just a big pile of <laughs> graft. I honestly think it doesn't even have Defender. I, I, it like it says I know it can't, can't attack, attack or block. Yeah, it might say that. It's, it's Vigian Hydropon, and yeah, they didn't Vigian. want it to have Defender because Defender was a keyword, and it could possibly like get some advantage for adding that keyword. Yep. You you, you could put Hydropon. one of the... You could put something on it. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll do this. So I didn't attack with the Flare Husk for a specific reason. Uh, I just don't want to die to my opponent having, like, two pieces of removal, seeing as my opponent only made a one-drop on their turn. 
Yeah. Like, there's got to be a follow-up, right? Like, four cards in hand, no right. land. Two, two of them are Boros Garrison, and the third is, is Blades of Ellisfell. Mm. <laughs> Just looking for his way in. <laughs> oh, 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 I told you. You called it. I could have died. I guess we have a 5-5 five five in the way, though. Yeah, but oh my god. I freaking told you this I is the didn't, guy. This is. You were right. <laughs> you were dead on. <laughs> uh, how, do you about, how do you feel about playing a flyer, or how do you feel about removing his only creature with an aura on it? Um, Playing a flyer makes him dead next turn. So it is. So I'm going to play the Archangel first to see what it is. If he, he can't play removal anymore on, yeah. you know. And then we activate Clint Hawk, uh, uh, or Clint Hawk Idol and go in. Yeah, I'm probably in with that and Rusted Relic. We can't equip Flare Husk on any of our creatures except, <laughs> except, the, <laughs> except our Angel. I accept. You you called the Goblin War paint so hard. <laughs> well, what, we called all our opponent was hard up for uh, playables with his double rune servitor. And his, I and think his rune servitor is fine. Like it's not really a drawback. Both people draw the cards, so it's like a yeah. grizzly bear. He's okay, but he's like not really what you want to do. It's, unless you're unless you're us. Like you're, there's it's it's a lot easier to have better cards than it, but he's he, there are a lot of worse cards than it too. He's 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 medium. Yeah, but uh, Goblin War Paint, Simic Initiate, double so, main deck smash. So this is gonna be a plus three plus three to kill my rusted relic. Might be an aggressive chump block. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we can yo the blades. I I didn't expect him to three for one here. <laughs> you know he yeah, didn't want he didn't want to get any value from the rune servitors, so he he erased any that he might have had. Mm -hmm. Right, you can we can equip on to the germ, but the only way we would equip anything but the germ is to kill the germ. Yo. <laughs> This guy's deck is full of narrow answers to specifically <laughs> our deck. He's still going to lose. <laughs> so attack for four here. Yeah, please leave a chump blocker behind. Please leave the germ behind. Yeah. I like that our court homunculus is doing work on turn nine. Frogmite. Frogmite's here. Land's here. Do I just want to remove it? It's five mana. We risk him, like, ginning up a bigger thing, but I think that's fine. Mm-hmm. Get off of the trade with Cork Homunculus. I don't think we want to make that trade though. We need to kill our opponent with damage. Yeah. And like his, yeah. he's he has he's got to have Lightning Bolt in his deck. I'm attacking with the Germ That's... because that puts him on a one turn clock. That's fine. Yeah, he could have Twist Savage Twister here. He couldn't cast it without murdering himself. Well, Savage Twister doesn't hit players, and Glenhawk Idol's immune to it. Yeah. Oh no. Oh man. Okay, top five and gets the best creep. Right, Gobl right. Goblin Fire Slinker. Oh no! <laughs> a clock! Well, he has to chump. I know. <laughs> I don't know Man. why I'm making fun of our opponents so much. I shouldn't. I was waiting for it to be like a 3 1 green creature and then slam Goblin Warpate and kill us right there. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> just lay us out. I'm like, oh my god. But then I, I remember that there, there's no such thing. So, uh, uh, I don't think there's a three power tube on a green creature. Lance, eh? 
It's fine. Like, he has to block or die. Yeah, good one. Yeah, equipment. My power has not left the battlefield. <laughs> and that's the game. Okay. We got that. Right. He did not, beat in fact, the deck. have lightning bolts in his hand. <laughs> we beat the deck who's, like, main boarded against us. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you think you had connection problems. This guy had it way worse. No, he, like, the combust is definitely a sideboard for when he saw us on white. Though it's yeah. not as strong as it should be, it definitely answered Indomitable Archangel. And I would, I'd be willing to bet that second mm -hmm. smash is a sideboard. Yeah, he probably main decked the first one and then brought in the second. He still had Blades of Valus Veil vale and Simic Initiate in his deck. Yo, that, I I am, again, Kaz, nice call on the Goblin War Paint going well, to I show get, up. I get one. Mm -hmm. I get one call a night, so <laughs> I'm going to, I'll step off and be right back. It sounds good. Uh, and that's... now we're here, while Wanapo and, mm -hmm. and Landis are the only other ones done. I'm still... <sighs> power. Yeah, don't I, I know it. Whatever, I'm just... I ain't gonna... I, ain't, I, I know you know it. You, I've, I, the truck. The truck? Yeah. Oh, oh, or... That was... Oh, well, we're, we're moving on in. Like, three people finished their games exactly at the same time. No, they're all 2-0 sweeps. Oh, oh. Maybe there was some chaos drafting going on. Well, yeah, Medibot's dead on. That wizard had all the answers. Nobody else can answer us at all. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, chaos draft would make sense, because artifacts are generally not as affected by chaos drafters as... Because you're colorless, so you don't have to worry about colors. Mm. So maybe there was indeed a Chaos Drafter who made everyone else's deck worse. Who knows? Well, sadly, it's something we, we really won't be able to know. We can just kind of try to infer from the next couple games. Well, what I'm saying we'll run into them. Because certainly they won. Mm. The Chaos. The, the Chaos Drafter. Yeah, it's tippy toes. It's gotta be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who made everyone's deck worse and made us get a confusing pop-up about revalidation? Oh, is that what happened to everybody? Oh, yeah. Their 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 pools got backdated, so we could have our arrest back. <laughs> But we're 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 rocking. It's gonna be sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what happened to our the the, the, the with the the lies. Our deck pool was incorrect, and uh, I I don't know. I don't. I'm willing to believe it was nothing, and that it was just the program doing something weird. Anyway, we're we're playing first. Can we have a card homunculus in our opener? Yeah, we can have two of those. Well, if we could draw, <laughs> they make each other work, so it's fine. Yep. I'm keep, I'm planes is a little awkward, but well, we we have a much higher planes draw than we have uh, others. So GLH. yep, yeah. Let's start rocking. Yeah, I'm GLFH, set. also known as Good Luck Fun Have. <laughs> Look, I I am I'm sad. Kaz is missing the beginning here, which is the the rundown. We introduce you to a little card called Hound uh, Isamaru Hound of Kanda. And, uh, hey, what's up? Uh, also, we can only draw one more mountain and two other colorless lands, so you know, good stuff. All right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, well, that's fine. Yeah, that means if we draw planes and Domitil Angels on. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad play, by the way. Should have been mountain. It should always be the mountain in case I draw Noblis before. 
Uh, oh, but enough. oh, but this way I aimless. And but this way I keep my two damage because I played Dark Steel Citadel. The victory. Yeah, is there. we stacked the whole deck. <laughs> okay, so I'm. This is a payoff. Like, okay, so he's fixing with his foil evolving wilds. No, bets on proliferate versus Steve Hope. It's Steve Hope. Ooh, nameless inversion. Yep. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't have Indomitable Angel on there. We have a four-four oh, well. flyer though. Yeah, that, that's fun. Three mountains in hand. Let's go. Yeah, basically. We are the beat, <sighs> we are the beatdown. We don't need no spells. Proliferate's probably real. I know they have Wither. There's no Infect cards though, are there? Um, sitting here thinking if there's infect. All right, O-ring. Goodbye, Indomitable Archangel. Mm. But we have O-ring to get that back. Yeah, we O-ring their O-ring. All right, okay. you know, drawing lands every turn of the game is a bit harsh, so let's try to not do that for the rest of this. Yeah, I would be fine drawing no more lands in the entire game. Well, I was fine with that a while back. <laughs> We did keep the three spell, so let's see where this le Okay, Binding Soul Eater, which is a 1-3. Mm. Hey! So, if he uses that as a tapper, we'll be able to attack with a uh, Court Homunculus. We can't attack now because there's nothing to... Nothing to do... Opponents on four lands, six cards in hand, so we need to kind of keep this beat down rolling. There it is! There's the Thief of Hope. And it gets back Nameless Inversion on death. Unless we O ring it, which we don't want to do because we want to O ring it. Although, if we O ring. Okay, Blink Mob Nexus, okay. I mean, right. that's flyers. Yeah. Alright, let's, let's attack for two in the air. Let's just keep the air squadron going on. <laughs> All right, you know, could we draw the uh, Noblis? Yeah. Noblis of War? Yeah, that's pretty yeah. okay. Give me the Noblis. Yeah, of all lands we could have drawn, that is the least bad one. That one actually does something. Also, our creatures are like... Never mind. Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> See for hope, everybody. Hmm. Are you willing to trade Clint Hawk Idol for two thirds of Spectral Procession? I basically have to. Maybe Blink Moth Nexus for the other one? Nah. Like, once two of them are gone, the other Glen Hawk Idol gets to attack as normal. True. Oh, I mean, does he have, like... Hot dog. Hey, so, nah, um... I thought I recognized Crinkly Plastic Bag. So, yeah. uh, I will recap the uh, game as it has gone. We kept a hand of four lands. Oh my god. We kept a hand of four lands, two Court Homunculus, and a Indomitable Archangel. We have drawn two spells since then. Mm. We are also hella dead to this mere entity on top of all these tokens. So, um... We need our next two our next two draws to be Burst Lightning and Burst Lightning. Well, like, we need Burst Lightning now to kill that. Like, that's... We will lose the game without an answer to that card. Hmm. Alright, so the, the tenth land was not... This is a 16 land deck! This is... The tenth land was just not enough. <laughs> so should we just concede or make an all-out attack and see if he gets to block and then still doesn't die? Since we don't really have any answers to this at all. Yeah, I'm I'm sitting here thinking if there's even a way to like cheat through this, and the big thing is that he can pump these spirit tokens to two twos, so they'll kill the Glenhawk idols. Um. Yeah. Maybe he messes up Mirror Entity and activates it for zero. It's a difficult card to use. Uh, maybe, yeah, he, he just, like, rats his board for no reason. Yeah. 
Uh, if he's showing an O-ring and uh, the tapper, should we? Is there anything worse than Tarashi's grasp? Um, hmm. Kami, maybe. Kami, maybe. We'll, we'll have to take a look at it. Swift laid out Kami in. That's pretty simple. Yep. All right. So here's this team goes to two twos because that's the obvious play. Zero. Just activated for zero. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> click one too many times on the thing. <laughs> yeah, and then. From here, he's also much higher white than it looks from this game because Mira, like Spectral Procession. Yeah, he did cast that for four. And oh no, we lose. No, it's not over. He makes this team six sixes. That's fine. We take then we'll take eighteen and go to one. I accept. So your opponent's playing it safe. It gives us a turn to like draw burst lightning. Yeah, Tarashi's Grasper Koala probably okay. We're moving on. Yeah, with this two with those two tappers. Yeah, like we're there's no way Mirror Enforcer stays untapped, and also I don't want to show it to him. So let's move to the, uh, let's move to the white screen where <laughs> let's uh, move to Magic the Gathering online crashing. Yeah. All right. So we want to be able to answer uh, like Tarashi's grasp actually looks fine-ish because we would like another like he had O-ring and some other artifacts. Yeah. So what do we cut for it? Like Sunlands? A burst lightning? Sunlands pretty, would have been pretty crucial last game. Yeah. Yeah, it would have done something that... I mean, so would have burst lightning. I mean, cut Dispatch if it's going to be that, I guess. Well, Sunlands can't kill Mirror Entity. Yeah, it's sorcery speed, yeah. Well, no, it can't kill Mirror Entity. Or non-white, yeah. Yeah, he's we're playing the white mirror. Ew. Sunlight's yeah. Not yeah. white creatures. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. So, so yeah, like I'm this. Like, oh yeah, three damage. Derp. That's Zoop. strafe. It is strafe. Strafe just... is not kill. Do you want uh, swift blade out for a uh, for a kami, or do you just want to have your swift blade in? I kind of want swift blade out for a kami. Kami killing O ring is huge, and yeah. and, they're, and Gross in our blade, deck, they're both our deck is almost always a bear. Yeah. All right. There is once two circumstances in which she is not. Then a bear. let's then let's do this. All right. Yeah. Let's just out of our let's just not draw ten of sixteen lands. That'll be fine. Let's let's, let's uh, draw like five. Yeah, you're lands. Put it to nine, like over half. I know. I know. I know. I just um. You See, that's more what I air? expected. We could lose the other way. Well, we can't keep this. We need to draw runner lands for three turns, right? Like, this hand isn't actually keepable. Yeah, yeah this hand doesn't do anything. And also, one of our lands has to be a mountain. This is the same hand, except for actually a little worse. <laughs> so let's mulligan it as well. Hey, court homunculus! <laughs> a play! Good lord. We had... Oh, that was good. <laughs> well, if we're going if we're going to run our opponent down, this is the hand that does it. Fair. Let's sideboard into surgical extraction. Uh, no. <laughs> Just to stop his. <laughs> Cast it for life. Mm hmm. And there, Kami of Ancient Law. All right. So we get to play Boros Swift Blade and activate Glint Hawk Idol. If his hand's kind of working, gotta look at the top ten, man. <laughs> this case, the top eight, but yeah. you know. Yeah. Let's just keep the beat down going. Now we have two turns of drawing rusted relics. Oh. Jeez. All right, a 3-3. Three, three. 
<laughs> which turns on the Glenhawk idol. Team sideways. Yeah. Ready to ride. Mmm. Taste my steel. Everybody in. Okay, he decides to trade. Nice. No, he like, has Tifa Hope. He can soul shift onto it. Yeah. If this were Lauren Block or something, you would just have, like, shields of Velus Bay there and did the giant blowout. It would have yeah, been beautiful. He... But luckily, you can't do that, so. All right. Let's just let's keep it rolling. It's going to be we're fine. We're in this awkward situation where we both want to and don't want to draw lands. <laughs> you know what? That's a fine situation because that means we can't draw dead. Rusted Relic. We can't draw uh, dead. <laughs> her Enforcer. We can't draw dead. Alright. You know, if that's the way he's going to answer one of our artifacts, I'm completely fine with it. That's yeah, still in play. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Metalcraft. <laughs> <laughs> Is that worth it? It's the damage right away puts him at uh, nine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's do that. And here I thought we didn't have ways to gain life. <laughs> hey, life gain. We can't. You can also Tarashi's grasp your own Cthulian. <laughs> and... For mana. <laughs> the ritual. Right. Three mana into three mana to oh. Oh. Look, we don't have dead draw. <laughs> Look, it, it gains his life, so and ticks our storm counter up one, so he can pay more life to... This is time, stuff. so this is good. Like, 23 life means, like, maybe we just get to go in with Glenhawk Idol a couple times and win. That'd yeah! Nice. Our opponent can't jimmy up a creature bigger than a 3-3. Three -three. He's going to have some problems. Thief of Hope. Thief of Hope. That's, that's, a, that's a Grey Ogre. Gained him like Oh, well... Well, no, we've already... Oh, okay, so O-Ring answering that. That's fine. Okay, he I has... I want to flush mana into it every turn. <laughs> <laughs> Trade Ha-ha! <Arbidon! Arbidon! laughs> Can you deal with my team, Cathodian? <laughs> like, we have it dead next turn if you can't block it. <laughs> ah! It's so good. I feel like he could produce at least a blocker. <laughs> he, he really should be able to. Uh, we also have like burst lightning out, you know, like that's that. You know, once we get him too low, we can just get to that point. Yeah. <sighs> Cathodian beats. The worst possible thing right now would be spectral procession. No, echoing ruin or some crap like that. <laughs> you know, like he just slams echoing two ruin. islands. Her. <laughs> Slams two islands, Hercules recall. <laughs> one island. Alright, that's one. I thought it was double blue for some reason. Yo, give me the Thief of Hope. Or is it like a rest on another one of these? Man, he is like tanked. <laughs> he doesn't know what you to do. You want to know the worst part of this? Hmm. That's our arrest. <laughs> I know! It could be an R deck. Okay, one more land. That's all we. Okay, one more plains or mountain. I will curse this. He's got a instant speed nameless removal version. spell. No, not nameless Dismember. Version. Obviously not paying life. <laughs> okay, he had to. He was he was having trouble casting it, then realized he could just instant speed it. Okay. Thief of Hope. Okay, does he have a nameless inversion, inversion. to follow this up with? Nope, Plagued Rasulka. That is a way to not die. But we are still attacking next turn. Oh, or are we... Are we attacking for lethal? <laughs> well, I mean, we don't trample... Well, no. before we before the noblest, we weren't attacking for his life total. Mm -hmm. Yeah, relevantly enough. Can this guy have any more removal? Like nameless revenge doesn't kill noblest of war. 
Right, and it, it actually makes it huge. Um, so I'm gonna kill both of these guys. He gets back Kami of Ancient Law? That's not good enough. Like, if he had, maybe if he had something else down there, I would care, but I don't. Got Cathodian! It's like, we got there through the power of trained Armadon and curving out the top yeah. part of our library being exactly what we needed at every point in the game. I'm 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 super satisfied with this. We also have our opponent at four life, meaning uh, we're not out of the woods yet, though. No, no, no. Well, if we're, our opponent's at four, meaning that all right, blinding soul eater doesn't have the ability to work yet. Like, yeah, why did he tap that way? Why did he tap that way? Um, because it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, he can. No, if he left a planes untapped, he could. No, it, he, can't, he can't tap. Why would he be able to tap? All right, taste, whatever, yeah. Yeah. So uh, just play the husk and ship in, see what happens. Well, play the husk, equip the husk, ship in. Okay. I mean, even if he sacrifices a guy to shrink your guy, you're attacking for four, right? I guess, is uh, see, I'm not 100% on the cards in the format, and I'm playing around Disfigure. I don't know if that card's even in the format, but it's what I'm playing around right now. Let, let's see if he has anything at all. Doubtful. He can't dismember anymore. He's He should be dead no matter what. I am specifically playing around. Also, now okay. I get... Yeah. Okay, now we swap out our 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 flare husk. Yep. Okay, this figure is not here. I'm okay. I I don't know the full format, and I'm just playing around tricks that I might expect in the format. So, uh, let's do the thing. We won I'm, that game. We won that game. I'm really chuffed about winning that game. Mm, we won that game. All right. No bliss was a good pick. <laughs> I'm happy. He's big and bad. So, um, anything else out? Like, I don't know how much I care for other Boros Swift Blade, but I don't think we have better card. So it'd be like raise the alarm. I don't like that here what either. What does that even do? Or blood ogre. <laughs> Or flare husk. Or surgical extraction. What if he only has one thief of hope? Skyhunter skirmisher, but... There is, there is something to be said for the idea of, like, taking out both rusted relics and then putting in cards that don't need you to have artifacts. It's rusted relic you take out... Don't... Take out makes the other ones worse. It, well, I don't think that Sky Hunter Skirmisher or, well, I think Blood Hoger. A surgical extraction is like an okay card, but I don't think we're playing it. Maybe we just ship it back and we get to play the third game on like even footing. Yeah, I, I like that idea. Honestly, did we've shown that if we can run this guy down, we beat him. Did Did Kaz explode? Did I explode? What? Nah, okay. Oh, I heard the Skype like... Doof. Noise. Huh. Hey! <laughs> hey! Ooh. Can he deal with our creatures if one of them is protection from all colors? I like this hand. Come on, Cordymiculus off the top. <laughs> that would be the best. Noblest, which means, like, don't play that Blink Moth? Yeah, don't play the Blink Moth yet. That's weird. All right. But you you are still here, Kaz? I I think I am. I can, I hear I can you. Hear, I can hear you. That's okay, good. good. It, yeah. Like so good. Tenacious Yo! Dead. Her reassembling skeleton. The combo. Um, that makes court homunculus wicked weird. It means we can't play it yet. No. It means I have to commit this Blink Moth Nexus. Alright. 
so that you can Noblest activate the Nexus. Yeah, well, we're not even certain we're going to hit Noblis on six. I, yeah. Yeah. Wait, Linkwad saying... Nexus isn't a artifact I, on its own. I I I agree with you, Kaz. Noblis on six is completely fine. I mean, it's not an artifact on its own. You can tap it. Yeah. Yeah, but he can yeah, totally kill the. Into... He can like slam land here and then kill Artemunculus for free. That's not free. Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah, we can tap it for its own mana and then... T okay. That, that's the entire reason I made this play. Yes, okay. <laughs> I okay. realized I didn't know it could do its own thing or... Yes, yeah, okay. Um... There's no point in blocking. One, one point of damage is not worth me risking the entire world here. Okay, that would allow him to do the dance. That would allow him not to only to do the dance, but to, like, kill my Blink Moth Nexus while the dance occurred. Like, it would be horrible. So, um... Want to arrest his plague, Drusulka? Versus just getting Cathodian down. Uh, Cathodian's probably fine. I think that, I think I might want to, yes, but... I want to get another artifact down to start getting, like, a real board. Yeah, all right. How much does Etch Champion cost again? Three. Okay. Everything on our hand costs sure. three. He has a blocker for it, of all a weirdly. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> good old reassembling skeletons. Thief of Hopes here. Okay. That's a weird way to. Oh, never mind. He wants the Blinding Soul Eater. All right. Because he wants to tap Cathodian. Alright, so Noblest would have been on 5, but I'm completely fine with it on any later times. Mm -hmm. So the question here is, like, is Arrest worth it on Plague Rasulka now? Or is yeah. Etch Champion better? The thing about Arrest on Plague Rasulka is that you're not going to be able to use Arrest on any other creature because he'll just sacrifice it. I mean, well, that is, yes, getting rid of that creature, but... Like, we're, we're staring down Thief of Hope and reassembling Skeleton with a with a Plague Drusulka on board. It's going to be unreasonable. So, just give get, get it down now. I really think so. I think this is our window. The other problem is he does play a bunch of Kami of Ancient Laws. Yeah, that's, that might not actually do anything. That's also true. So should we just slam down the Edge Champions, send in Cathodian and make him tap it? Maybe that's fine. Do we attack with Court Homunculus? We're not... We're probably not going to be able to attack. I... Oh. Oh, Thief of Hope returns through Sulka, of course. Like, you know what? I'm going to go with your plan on the on the Rasulka. The, so thinking about it here, the big thing is that with Reassembling Skeleton, he starts to get this, like... Machine gun? You know? Yeah, where he can just where you can sacrifice three assembling skeleton multiple right. times. Right, and we get to the we get to the end game, and we can no longer keep any creatures on board. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's tapping his Okay, makes yeah. sense. Yeah, which means I will attack with Court Homunculus. Yeah, he, he'll take two. There's no way he's trading Thief of Hope. Oh, actually, I guess I won't. Yeah. Uh, mashing. Yep, yep. It'll, it'll keep reassembling skeleton at home. Nah, like, nah, that was that was me clicking one too many times. It happens. Um, I, the... I think holding back here is also like a fine choice, though. Three cards in hand. I'm really happy about the etch champion turn. Like, like etch champion. The problem is he actually has an answer to it. Weirdly mm. enough. Mm hmm. But that means he's not tapping down Cathodian, who will be attacking as a 5-3. Ha-ha! Hey, we get a curve, too. He stole our arrest, well, we stole his Kami of Ancient Law. All right, well, let's go ahead and play out the cards. Etched Champion.
Alright. Does he forget to... Nope, he doesn't. No, our opponent's been quite timely about these sorts of things. I'm also not going to attack here. I don't want to lose my court homunculus because that'll drop the shields. Okay. And I would like him to... After, if he wants to kill Etch Champion, I want him to have to spend resource, you know? Is this mirror? Oh, pillory on... Oh, obvious. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> because it's the only target he could possibly put it on. So what, do we just sack the Kami and respond... And we sack the Kami to kill it, like, right now before we lose the life? At the end of his turn. Yeah. We, don't, we don't do it immediately so that we can keep, like... Also, we also could, like, keep the Kami in play. So, here's the... That, that, here's... that gains him life, though. No, it doesn't. It only loses us life. So, here, here's my thought process. Um, I keep Kami of Ancient Law in play. I realize it can't attack or block, but it now is this... He's not going to spend another piece of removal on it, and he can't play O-Ring or Arrest anymore. True enough. I guess we can we outrace uh, damage a turn. I guess is the question. Yeah, that's that's probably all right with our like glint hawk idols and our nobles of war. Yeah, I'm I'm going to I'm going to keep this in play. I realize you know like we can get rid of it if like we get to a bit Low. lower life total. Like flare has here. Yeah. Like so, this having another artifact. Well, let's play flare husk. Huh? Yeah, we could sack Kami to kill the pillory, which would just keep us from losing life, or we can keep Kami around as an anti-arrest uh, thing. Yes, I'm basically paying one life a turn to prevent my opponent from using his art, his enchantment removal. Yes, you know? yeah, like O-ring can't be played, arrest can't be played, and our opponent showed a very high propensity to have that sort of junk, so. Anyway, he's going to tap Edge Champion because obvious. Yeah, but the rest of our attacks look really good. Yeah, I actually like the whole attack here. We have an Ink Moth in the, or Blink Moth in the back too. That's a three-one. Like that's <laughs> in the air. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. So reassembling skeleton for the chump block. Our Thief of Hope for the trade because he wants to work down the artifact count. He also doesn't have any the soul shift on too. That was the reason I was very happy with the trade. So the other the other okay, the other other thought process is uh my opponent has two cards in hand, had just made a fifth land drop after missing a land drop, and he did not make creature drops in either of those two turns, which tells me his hand is likely a pile of removal. Yeah, which is probably enchantment based. Which is why the Kami of Ancient Law is still in play. The non-enchantment removal we saw him play were was Dismember and uh, Nameless Inversion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of which nope. will kill Noblest One. Saw that? I guess I wasn't there for that. Oh, yeah, Nameless Inversion killed our first Court Homunculus in Game 1 on Turn 2. Oh, hooray! Mm -hmm. It's a very good card in his deck because it's both a spirit spell and it's a soul shift target. So, like, it's with Thief Jeez. of Hope, it's nuts. <laughs> it's very strong. The card gets better every time you look at it. Mm -hmm. Nameless freaking inversion. It's nuts. You just have to kill your opponent with it once, and then... Oh, but... then my guy also isn't an elemental anymore, so he doesn't get the plus one, plus one. No! <laughs> <laughs> I've, I have used the nameless inversion to kill elves through, like, a bunch of lords, you know? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so dismember on noblest not paying life. Yeah, okay, he's because he's. Wow, is he afraid or is he no, having no other plays? He did that main phase. He didn't want us to untap in any way, so I'm gonna continue to pay the life. So we turn on blink moth ship in. Mm-hmm. Uh, want to sandbag that planes? Absolutely. Mm -mm. You have no reason to play it. We've played the most expensive card in our library. Mm -hmm. So the big thing is, if he uses the Soul Eater, um, he yep, he figured it out. He needs to pay life to it, 
because he won't be able to get back reassembling skeleton otherwise. And he wants to jump the skeleton up to block uh Cathodian or whatever. He wants he wants to have the skeleton to buy time. Mm -hmm. Is the skeleton really going to be worth worth more than the two life? Uh, if he blocks Cathodian, it's three. Mm -hmm. So he technically comes out ahead on that. All right. So what's his card here? What have we got in this? What's his four? Spectral procession. Okay. It can no longer attack with blink mod nexus. That's correct. He also could easily clock us. Can right. also kill Cathodian now, which. Doesn't quite turn off our shields. Oh. Hmm, does that change anything? We can use that with Kami to zip something out of play <laughs> forever. Yeah, we, we we could do that. We 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 could pull off the Kansas City shuffle. Yeah. Time time yeah. erase. You do that. If you do that on the soul leader, then uh, what's his face becomes a a true clock. Uh, uh, Etched etch champion. champion. Etched champion. Yeah. Ooh! Not only does Etched champion become a true clock, it becomes like a strong true clock. I could banish skeleton forever, but I don't think that does anything. I like. Okay, I I like banish soul eater. Do we need to do it forever? I. Probably not forever. Like you were the one he... just telling us that he was he could clock us with his spirits. Okay. Yeah. yeah the thing with clock us with his spirits is he also contains mirror entity. You know. So okay. He's... Yeah. Right. I guess That's a the... reason not to play the Oblivion Ring. I guess. Well, at this point, the 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 mirror entity murdered us like immediately. All right. So we're gonna do this, and then I am going to perform. Uh, an exorcism. <laughs> Just to stop losing life. Yeah. He's tapping its champion now. Okay. Yeah. The attack with flare husk. Yeah. To try to get a skeleton or a spirit killed. Or we could equip spirit or flare husk onto Cathodian. That still... That would make Cathodian trade with the entirety of, uh... Um... Yeah, that's, that's probably premature. You could do that after sacrificing the Flare Husk to attacks. So, just go ahead and attack for four here? Hmm. If you equip on Cathodian, he can't kill it for free. He has to give up all of the Spirit Tokens. Yes, before he can block with skeleton and two tokens and kill it. I don't. I don't care about that as long as the spirits are gone. Maybe I don't care about the Cathodian dying. Like that's that. Mm, that champion. We do have a that's champion. Who? Yeah. That we maybe can it... turn on Blink Moth Nexus anytime we want to, right? Yeah, we can do that to counter removal spells. Okay, how about we, I attack with all here then? And just attack with both. See what happens. Yeah, put him to the sword. I kind of wanted to put pressure on our opponent. We do need to draw pretty hot if we're going to finish this game out. Yeah. Land. Spell a turn. Okay. Yeah, he's doing what I thought he would. Yep. I'm fine with that. So, then we're good. And we get three mana that we can't use. Well, we could use it, but we don't want to. Yes, yeah, no, I... So, then we go ahead and this is our time period to just kill the germ. We're putting a, we're putting the clock out. Evolving Wilds is a dead draw for our opponent, but it does thin, which is why he played it rather than Sandbag. Mm -hmm. He has one card left in hand. Is it a dead draw for our opponent, or does he have Iona in his deck? <laughs> hey, flyers. Yeah, also... Also, Metalcraft again. Yeah, so... 
Artifact 3 threes will win us the game. <laughs> the good thing is he only has one attacker at all. And also, yeah. Glinthawk Idol's immune to arrest, which is sweet. Ha! <laughs> he can O ring, but. You know. Not if Wait, what's the one that can. Animal. What's the one that can enchant artifacts or creatures? That if is. There such a thing. No, there's, there's, it, there's enchant permanent, and it's, uh. Well, th there's gives I you think, a bunch of life. I think there is one that you're yeah, that's, thinking. Yeah, that's Faith's Fetters. I... Yeah, Faith's Fetters. Suppression something? I like having Path to Exile in our hand. That's a strong hand right here. If for mere entity or any scary creature he can play. Yeah, well, like, having the answer to any scary creature is nice. Okay, so he can get rid of the Plague Rasulka arrest. He can do that, which he might want to for... Uh, but Same. none of our cr killing Glinthawk idol. Yeah. Can he do that right now? Oh, I'm thinking of Encrust of all things. Oh, that's like doesn't untap, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Gross. Yep, I was thinking so, of Encrust. So we just send in the, the rocks? I'm just sending an Etch Champion, nothing else. I'm not even okay. going to bother with anything else. I don't believe my opponent can beat this card. <laughs> and I'm not going to turn my Glen Hawk Idol on for risk of him killing it in combat. Or, you know, sacking his team to kill it and then being like, aha, I'll find a way to kill your edge champion. Not worth the risk. I have 15 life. We have 15 life. We have Path to Exile in hand. He has remembered his <laughs> reassembling skeleton. It's uh, good. It's a good thing to okay. remember. Yep. That, he, can, that, he can kill any creature that does not have protection from all colors. That was the other reason I did not activate Glenhawk Idol, because look at how much he could have machine gunned it down. Hey! No! Did you know that this completely ridiculous card is very, very powerful? Also, you know what? A flare husk. Flare husk. <sighs> also, all right, all right. I gotta give it up. Blood Ogre would not have cut it there. <laughs> it oh, really oh, maybe it nice. would have. He has a bunch of one ones. Yeah. Uh, something else. Uh, our opponent was a Thief of Hope deck. I am pretty sure he only had one Thief of Hope. Well, just we, the one. We don't know. We we saw it twice. We saw two commies. This deck looked freaking awesome. He, Jeez. Dude, he has he has pillory arrest and O ring as removal. He has dismember and nameless inversion as removal. He has plague Rasulka skeleton. Like look at he can just machine gun <laughs> us with a skeleton. He can machine gun <laughs> yes. us with a, he had yeah. and the thing that made me like his deck a lot. The spectral procession. Yeah. yeah, was that right there? It was mere spectral procession. I don't think he was a very good Thief of Hope deck, though. Only one I, Thief of Hope. I disagree with you. I think his deck was, like, I, I think you're flat wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying he had, a, he had a great had... black-white deck. He had a great black-white deck. Any Thief of Hope, Hope, Hope deck that has even, like, one nameless inversion is bonkers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, also, you don't know that he only had one. You're just I saying can, that. I can say it, and I can say it with certainty, and I can say it while making poses, and that makes it true. <laughs> None of those actually make it true. It, that, no, 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 no. Gnome has resigned to call it a dog, and he will never change. Oh, <laughs> uh, it has four <laughs> legs. <laughs> it, it, it must be a dog, right? Also, hey, we're in packs. Yes. Value is not destroyed, despite efforts by trucks and gods everywhere. Yeah, jeez. I'm, I'm, you know what? Okay, you know, internet's held. That's sweet. Outside of, you know, the, the fact that uh, power did some crap. I'm impressed by our secondary Skype backup working. <laughs> Definitely fine. I like this hand, by the way. <laughs> How old do I like this hand? It's okay. It's got Baron Shock. <laughs> this hand has two burst lightning. Baron Shock, I like it. So let's find out what our opponent's doing.
the mountains better there because I could have shocked, but I didn't play it. What's the card that's not reassembling skeleton? Drudge skeleton. No, the the one that gives you the trigger when it dies. Hey, look, a dead creature. Is it relentless dead? Hey, look, a dead creature. Ooh, shock. Get the hell out of here. The hell is that creature? It was. It's a one man. Really... It's a one mana one one that has two to re re like fake return it to play when it dies. Is that it? Yeah, and it's got like tenacious, yeah, tenacious dead. dead. Yeah, like, I love that guy has better art than reassembling skeleton. Scavenger Drake. Um. Did you know we have shock in our deck? Did you know that a four mana one one just ain't cutting it right here? Right, like. Get the idol down first. Although, if you play the Etch Champion now and draw another Glenhawk Idol, it'll immediately have Pro. That's hard. But the Glenhawk Idol can, can attack next turn in the air. And you can play Etch Champion into a board in which it will complete the. Yeah, if we draw Glenhawk Idol, we can just play Etch Champion and Glenhawk Idol next turn, so it works out the same. I'm going to go with the one that doesn't, like, you know, have my Etch Champion die to removal, because that's a card I don't want to die to removal, so... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <coughs> this one, this one's already resistant to removal. Yeah. Also, can we draw, like, Noblis? Hell yeah. Hey, um... Jeez. Hello. It's, uh, it's quite a card. I think it's huh. Archangel and then attack with Glenhawk Idol in the air. Seems fine. Hope to draw any artifact. I mean, we're just going to attack in the air, and we have six to his six, so right now, the race is in our favor. This is a strong, strong card, by the way. Mm -hmm. Both Briar Elemental is rather strong. He, correct wolves. he correctly only attacks with the 4 form, which I'm not going to do anything about, because it's not worth jumping at 20 life. Demir Guild Mage, only on discard, huh? Goodbye, Dispatch? <laughs> yeah, that's a bit gross. Harsh. I mean, it's gotta be. Uh-huh. It's Champion is the stronger card. Well. Remove our hand. Or does he have the secret blue... He could. I mean, that that definitely would be worth, like, splashing one island to just do that. But he's so definitely, send, like... Send, send the switch plate in? Or not? Uh, trade, for the, trade for the wolf? I guess I would be fine with the swift blade trading with anything on his board, so it's fine to attack with. But, on the other hand, like, the more complicated board state might allow me to... More swift plate is also better with Noblis if it's on top of our deck. I guess it's, do you want to attack, put pressure on, or do you want to play it safe? He'll trade with one wolf. He has two cards left in hand. I can no longer hold any card I draw, but that's fine. I can cast anything I draw. Um, Boros Swift Blade on the block. All it does is hold back a wolf, but that doesn't actually... Let, let's... Let's move in. Yes! Aggression! The big... The, the thing here that makes that attack... Uh, makes me do that attack is... Uh, for one, take a look at my opponent's life total. Yeah. If I draw an artifact, he's dead. Flyers in on block... On, 
unkillable things. He's just gone. So he has to have his removal, like, now. When you get top card of our library, is even I'll court homunculus. Mm hmm. Not sending in the guild mage. He wants blockers for next turn. Well, he has to leave something back for Etch Champion, and the chance I don't draw an artifact. What is his play? Oh, no, he wanted to. Uh, Kavu Primark kicked. That's a big dude. That's a planes. So now we have to hold something back or we die. Mm hmm. Um, can we afford to attack with Indomitable Angel? I think that's the only thing we need to attack with. Yeah, because if it's alive at the end of the turn, then you can just attack our opponent for four and kill them. Yes. I'm also going to hold the planes. Yeah, we want to get them to spend mana discarding. Right, I would like my opponent to tap out for nothing. Again, drawing Noblest, I can go Noblest uh, and then... Uh, activate. Activate, so there's no reason to play the land. Ugh, my body is making noises. Hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, Etch Champion gets to eat a 7 7, I feel. Like, if we chump the other one of these, Etch Champion has no chance of turning on. Right. I'm, I guess I'm. <coughs> I'm sitting here thinking do I want to block with Glenhawk Idol as well? Betting he has no removal. He hasn't shown any yet. Two cards in hand. Better question is, what does he have that could kill us if we don't block the other two? He's hitting for six. He'd have to pull six damage out of his hat, which would be Nameless Inversion and Vines of the Vastwood, or two Vines of the Vastwood. He's got two cards in hand. One was a draw on the turn. Um... So... Can he produce six damage with a creature? What what edicts exist in this format? That's a question. Are you right? we'll uh, take a pretty sure look. there aren't. Pretty sure there aren't any edicts. Uh, well, maybe that's not true. Like I don't know. I have no idea. There are no edicts. I think I just have to believe in Indomitable Archangel, right? Like, that's the only way I'm winning? Yeah. yeah that's, how, that's how we're winning. Alright. I don't know what he could have that saves him here. Though. A flyer, a flying blocker, a, a flying removal blocker. spell. He's going to make me discard the card. We also have three burst lightnings that are auto wins. Uh-huh. Gnarled pack kicked once. That's not a flyer. It's a kicker deck. <laughs> he has profane command, maybe. Uh, attack. See what happens. Yeah. Does he actually have removal? Yeah, dismember or something like that. Grim affliction. That does lose us the game. That loses us the game, like, completely, because now he will hit us for 10 uh, off of his guys that have counters. I can only chump block one creature. Um, okay. It also means that the chump block last turn was... Uh, yeah, we shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, hmm. Oh, well. On to game two. I'll play this. Yep. See if he attacked wrong. Yeah, that, that's. I'm gonna give my opponent the chance to fail. Okay. So yep. So yeah, that block was just incorrect. Yeah, we we forgot that we were the aggro with our very few creature. 
Well, I did. But, I I didn't expect his removal spell to not just flat kill my guy. Was what it was. Yeah, that's we didn't expect the shrinky dink. <laughs> so he's got large yeah. creatures. He's also got plenty of things that die to burst lightning, though. I like that. His face. Yeah. So do we just ship it back and play better? <laughs> What do you think, Kaz? I don't know, man. I don't think there's anything on the board that matters. Like, I guess Fiery Fall is, like, big guy removal, but it isn't enough to, uh... Like, it doesn't kill that 7-7. Seven, seven. I don't know. I'm just going to rock it back. Yes, I would like to play first. <laughs> Do you want to live forever? Rush him down. No quarter! <laughs> I will give you nothing. So now we drop the Nexus and Player Husk Plus. Mm hmm. God, we have. And we have swords. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, a bounce land. Well, he's got a discard? He does have a discard. You know, I remember when I played this deck when it was called Tempered Steel. Like, quite literally, this was, like, all the cards in it, except for the Flare Tusk was not mm. in here. But, like, Dispatch, mm. Glenhawk Idol, Court Homunculus, like, Ink Moth rather than Blink Moth. But, you know, it was a it was a strong constructed deck. Um, all right, third land gives us the ability to uh, not attack with it, but we get Dispatch. Yeah, we get to hold up. For his three mana creature that demands a path of exile. And we hit our opponent for five. <laughs> Good lord. This is what the deck is supposed to look like, by the way. Like uh, the temperature's kinda hot. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Do we activate Blink Moth Texas? Hell yes. Everything gets in here. And then we can do this. Yes. And our opponent plays a removal spell on, like, Glint Hawk Idol. No. He's proliferating to kill off a court homunculus. I would have been greedy and killed our land. Uh, that would have lost, probably lost the other game to damage, because that prevents us from killing him right here. He's at seven. Like, we don't have lethal. He has more blue than... I know. Him credit. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hmm. Sickle Ripper. Oh... Uh... How about Cathodian attack with germ token glint hawk idol? Seems fine to me. Respect this guy for playing Sickle Ripper. I love that guy. He was kind of crappy in his own block, but gets better when you play him elsewhere. Uh, do I want to attack with Court Homunculus? Are you fine, Court Homunculus, trading with Score Ripper? Because that is the future. The, that attack does. Yeah. So now he's dead to Mountain? Yo, he's a lot more blue than we thought. Oh, 
full-on soul tie experience. Mm-hmm. Kozal X Predator, huh? I was hoping you would make a big individual creature. Yeah, instead of... Oh, is he going to use the Eldrazi spawn immediately? I would like that. To evoke a Moldrifter. A shiny Moldrifter. <laughs> I know why my opponent's in blue now, by the way. <laughs> he got past Moldrifter and... Because uh, my opponent is, is me. That's my... That's, that's the opponent. <laughs> he just went out of his way to splash a Moldrifter. He's still dead to Mountain, though, right? He's dead to Outing Land. So we dispatch the Kozilek Predator, which is gone. We activate Sorge. we we activate Glenhawk Idol. Yes, and he concedes because he can block Cathodian but take four. So welcome. We've learned. I don't know if if Jens would lose a game to a Falkmol Drifter. That's that's a moral defeat. Um, how about this? I have lost a game by evoking a Mole Drifter. <laughs> so, Divination is so good. Mole Drifter owns, by the way. I love Mole Drifter. <laughs> ah. So, the final game. Any Can any just... changes? Any anything we know now that changes our mind? Well, he's heavy blue. Hasn't shown playing any artifacts or enchantments. Yeah. So no. Yeah, okay. He's shown that his deck can be a little slow, so we kind of maybe want to try to have an aggressive hand like this. It's like a two, but... We could find one easily. The deck can, does contain many. The fourth land is fine here, because that gives us the Archangel. What we really want to draw is a... a two. Glenhawk Idol. Yeah. That's like specifically the card I want to be on top. Or Noblest of War. That'd be alright. <sighs> want to just attack into that? Or do you want to keep him off mana? That's the question. Like, do I care? Or do I just O-ring what he plays off it? That's probably the more relevant decision. I mean, I realize that the cards he plays off of that are like multiple cards, like Moldrifter or the uh, uh, Wolves or <laughs> things like that. But You can also play a 7-7 seven, seven off of it. M Moldrifter. Or, evoke, or make a Wolf. It's one of those two, right? Make a Wolf. Decisions. If you have, if you O-ring the guy, you can attack with Custodian immediately. If we play the angel, his removal no longer works. What uh, removal did we, he have? We don't. Have, we don't have shroud. We don't have. I know, but I mean, next turn when you play Glenhawk Idol. I want to get the yeah. four four down. I think because next the... turn we also have like Glenhawk plus O-ring. Mm -hmm. Same turn that. That sounds spicy. You could use all your mana every turn. Mm-hmm. I love. This is the power of an alloy mirror. The card we considered picking. A powerful alloy. Mm. He will be your ally, alloy in your That guy was still so playable... <gasps> He had both of the cards! Okay. <laughs> he it's had... not either or in terms of what he's going to play, but what he's going to play first. Yeah. <clears throat> Nasty. Gross. So, I think I've literally just been owned by not O-ringing the alarm here, is what I'm seeing here. Like, everything that's happened has happened because of that. Well, 
He would have had his four on a four four, and he would have had Moldrifter anyway. I know. He, the, and, and he also would have had Deathmark anyway. I, I realize that it doesn't actually change too much. I'm going to attack with Kith... Mm, play Glinthawk Idol attack with both? Yeah. At this point, we might want to hold Shock to kill his face. Shock well, also kills the 4-4. Four four. Right. My thought process here is that if he double blocks on Cathodia, I can just make it in my favor. Yeah. He does That's not. Nice. So then the question is, do I O-ring his 4-4? Four four? Let's you attack next turn. Sounds kind of lame when you say it that way. You could just burst lightning, kill it next turn. Well, burst lightning is also be four damage to his face secretly. Mm-hmm. O-ring is our one of two ways main deck to deal with the seven seven. He can't play the seven. He, he can tap out for the seven seven, and I'd be fine with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for this. Yeah, go for it. Because the seven seven does cost quite a bit of mana, and then he would have to like convoke and everything, and have like I'm I'm thinking he he might allow the burst lightning just to get him. Yeah, if we keep if we keep drawing burst lightning, that becomes a plan. Hopefully, he doesn't just keep playing large cards like that. Does like predator gross? Like, like anything that's mana intensive at all. Attacks don't make sense. I think we are losing this game. Well, we had a good run. Mm hmm. Oh, we're in packs. Yeah, I, do, I don't. Because no attacks make sense, because Moldrifter for Glenhawk Idol isn't good, Kozilek's Predator for Cathodian isn't good, and we don't want to do both, because, like, opponent with cards in hand and we just throw our board away when we have nothing to follow it up with just ain't gonna work. Scavenger Drake, huh? Oh, with man. With Eldrazi spawn? Yeah. So Sweet. Burst Lightning has found a target. Hey, Demir Guildmage, how you doing? This isn't that bad. I can I can burst lightning the scavenger drake. The problem is the Demir Guild Mage with all that blue, actually. Yeah, he's doing that. I've gotta I've gotta kill the Drake, right? Like Yeah, I just like do it right now. <sighs> God. God, that Demir Guild Mage sucks. I guess which one do you fear more? Yeah, we drafted a 7 mana Wrath in our Court Homunculus deck. Yeah, uh-huh. Not happy about it. The, pr the, the big issue is that Demir Guildmage can draw to a turn now. So I need to draw a yeah. removal spell for it now. Like a rest or another burst lightning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Preferably yeah, burst lightning, I guess. A rest will work. I have to do it because like <coughs> Can't we can't we can't come back from that. So We're okay. gonna have trouble get coming back well, from no, this. No, no, no. One card in hand. Parody on board. We're, we're in a fine zone. Now it's down to top decks. Okay, it's champion and noblest of war would be good top decks. Land out of our opponent? Yep, okay. So a rest there is what we needed. Like, He's offering the trade. Um, Do I want the trade? I don't think we want the trade. Yeah, I agree. When he's got board advantage. Uh, right. We don't... Is a piece of metal. Right. Oh, that's more important. <sighs> Sick. <laughs> Good. I guess only it gets to attack, God. though, right? Basically, but it. Well, he can't attack anymore. Uh huh. 
I could attack with Cathodian, but do I want to remove a piece of metal from the board? Like, that's... That would tr trade for two of his creatures, but remove metal... any metal of our metal craft cards from working. Okay, what metal craft cards do we care about? Rusted Relic. Uh, Rusted Relic, and then cards that further... The only other, yeah, that Rusted Relic's basically at at this point. I think we hold back. And just yeah, we attack. We do have the Cathodian now. This is the only turn it can attack on. Yeah. I'm he willing to. Trade. Oh no, the card. What the hell? He doesn't trade at all. What's your trick, buddy? And if it's a kill spell for Noblest of War, he would. Ha! <laughs> okay, it's a kill spell for Cathodian. Cathodian, yeah. You know what? <laughs> Deal with it. You know? Yeah, Dispatch would only work if we drew it and another artifact or two artifacts at this point. I'm I'm and very happy about this because it removes the final card from his hand, which would have made attacking with Noblis a bit difficult, you know? Mm -hmm. So now we have relative board parity. Here's, here's a... In air, in air servant. No. Wabba wabba. All of a sudden. <laughs> oh. Well. There goes that one. Like we're, we're out of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> like I needed to draw burst lightning there to actually kill the air servant. Good lord. Okay. Gross. I could attack with Glenhawk Idol. Into air servant. Well, it gets plus two. Oh, well, yeah. I guess we trade it for Moldrifter then. We still have, like, a. I guess this also taps the. Yeah. Okay. So we have, like, a turn to draw Burst Lightning. One turn. I, that's probably bad because removing metal from my board is bad. But Here's like, it. I want to say that's what you get for drawing a rest at the perfect moment. I'm sorry. What is he countering my swift blade? Oh, no, no, he's I tapping the guy in response. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I mean. If I didn't arrest that, I would be buried under card advantage, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. However, so, did yeah. Swiftblade's, uh... Swiftblade plus Noblis? <laughs> we're not dead yet. <laughs> no, we're not dead yet. I guess the Noblis does have a static ability, after all. Mm-hmm. Can we make it lose flying somehow? Yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't that be just the thing? So I guess if we draw dispatch, we, we the attack would have been wrong. Um, do we have any attacks we can make? I'll die if I attack because my Glint Hawk Idol flies. Yeah. We play it down. Yeah, where's our sponge? We <laughs> mm. <laughs> use the sponge to make Noble Slip Sponge. <laughs> Does he have, like, a removal spell? That would be enough. Yeah. Five. Mole Drifter. Jeez. Multiple Mole Drifters. Did you notice this? Did you notice the non-foil Mole Drifter? The astute <laughs> zoo viewer? <laughs> it's hard for me to see it. We are so owned. <laughs> we are completely and utterly owned. He's only attacking with the air servant now. Uh, uh, uh. Do you make the block? No. <laughs> I was just I was threatening it to try to get him to tap mana. Uh. That was all I was doing. 
Because if he taps mana, then I have a couple. I might have a way out. All right, it's here. I mean, we do that, right? Very late to the party. We're not dead if we do that. I'm thinking, we can we get it to work on my opponent's head? Well, Nobles becomes tapped because Odeon, Glint Hawk, and Boris would play the tech, and he probably he has, makes. He does blocks. have blocks on all of them. I think it would require a complicit opponent. Okay, you're you're correct. So, go ahead and just zap it now. And then yeah. what'll happen so he... is he'll tap the noblest, and then I'll have to go block, block, block to not die. And then we just need him to not draw creatures or removal for three turns while noblest kills him. <laughs> Sweet. That is exactly what we need to happen, yes. So let's play assuming that's what happened. Yeah, I mean, okay, your choice is you need a complicit opponent or a luckless opponent. Like what do you what do you think we Our, we opponent, our opponent's that? too We we've shown him burst lightning so mm -hmm. that can't really be a trick. Um also in order for burst lightning to work, we would have to connect mm -hmm. with Boros Swift Blade plus second creature. Mm -hmm. Like and I don't think that's possible. So I'm going to go ahead and murder the air servant. That would that would be quite a bluff. I don't even know how to telegraph that particular thing to our opponent. <laughs> right? Like like blocks. make it look like we're doing a shitty all out attack for no reason. He makes bad blocks because he wants to be able to kill us back, and then all of a sudden like we win. I don't I don't know either. Well, except all his blocks are pretty good. Well, right. <laughs> he doesn't like, really have any bad blocks. The, yeah. only, the only bad block is Boros Swiftblade. Like, Boros Swiftblade might get through because there's a... So, anyway, we need three cards in our opponent's hand to be dead. Literal... Okay, one blank. <laughs> the first Demon. blank is here. Yeah, the second Bolt Drifter j just drew him stone. Ooh, nothing. 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 It'll be great. Absolutely garbage. Your hand is blank. Okay. I envision we are blocking. <laughs> Let us activate the Glenhawk Idol! Let us move to Blocker's Step! The Blocker's Step has occurred! Alright. Al Alloy Mirror not in is a bit telling. Alright. <laughs> okay. Okay. His follow up is Alloy Mirror Dose, which means I cannot attack. We cannot attack. Unless I am... that crazy. Playing Glint Glint Hawk Glint Hawk Hawk Idol means... Like, like that yeah. means we can attack with Boris Swiftblade? That's only four. Or Noblest. Six. Six. No, yeah. Yeah, it's more No, Boris Swiftblade is the better attack. Uh, That's because... incredible. Right, Bor <laughs> okay, so Bor yeah, Boris Swiftblade, hold back Noblest and play Glint Hawk Idol. Yeah, I'll... Uh... I guess we also attack first to make him think we have a, a dumb plan, <laughs> so that maybe he makes bad blocks. <laughs> we don't want him to think we have a dumb plan because we do have a dumb plan. We no, want to make him think we have a have... good plan. <laughs> our dumb plan is very obvious. Okay. Okay, if we can live, we win. One turn, we win. win. <laughs> if we can live, we win. <laughs> oh my god, alright. This is this is why you play to your outs, everybody. Even if we lose this game from this point, like, we've gotten close. We've gotten close. Uh, yellow time here is, is not a problem. Yeah, I don't believe that's a this problem. This is game three. Here we go. Oh man, one creature connecting is lethal? Uh-huh. Team here sideways! Oh. Here we go. The team! I am in! <laughs> Do you have it? Do you have the guts? Do you have the guts? 
Yeah! I have guts! I have your guts! I will be damned. Oh! Got this. That is why you played your ads. <laughs> yes! Games may look like they're over, but they're not. Sometimes your opponent has drawn blanks. You, sir. You, sir, drew what? arrest. I did. I drew arrest. You needed. I, I drew burst oh, lightning. Elspeth is here to look upset with your victory. Mm. Now, Elspeth is here to look like... Sh she looks Ugh. like one of those pictures where somebody takes like a picture and then cuts it in half and then mirrors the, the half. <laughs> it really... Hmm. Mm. Except for the shoulder. I mean, her face. Like, yeah, the yeah, shoulder's yeah. hard to notice. Yeah. But... <sighs> <laughs> My god. <laughs> I'm very happy about this. All right, you yep. guys. Yeah. That was fun, and I got to go. All right. Thank you, Kaz, for joining. I'm glad you got to enjoy the full extent of the of of, of the thing. Amazing. <laughs> and thank, thank you, Gnome, for joining as well. Yeah, no problem. I'm glad my <laughs> plan worked, even though it's not the plan we used. Look, we put the Demir Guild Mage in, uh... In, we, in, in, in jail, Wizard Jail. In Wizard Jail. In jail. And then we drew the Burst Lightning at literally the last possible turn. <laughs> and then our opponent, Mole Drifter, into Stone Nothing! So, yeah, we've got... Yeah, I was gonna say, we definitely have more Modern Masters in the future. We were... We were... Without two of our picks, we were still product generative. Yeah. Uh, uh, our opponent. Look, I'm gonna take. The, I'm gonna take the victory. I'm happy about it. I don't know if he threw the game. No. Away. Well, I think he. I think attacking with the alloy mirror, like that, is a choice he could have made. Like clearing the board out even more means that I can't attack with the swift blade in the first place. Means that I can't attack with the noblest because I'm yeah. dead. So like it's weird. I don't know. It's, anyway, thank you everybody in the zoo for joining. I hope you enjoyed the very silly games that we had here tonight. Um, I, they 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 weren't perfect. There's no I I will never claim to be the perfect magic player, but. I, I hope, hope everybody got to recognize the power of Court Homunculus. Yeah. That guy was a champion tonight. So, yep, everybody uh, have a good night. Take it easy, everybody.